Hi guys, welcome back. Cindy Fitzgerald, my dear sister from America. I love you loads with your kids and your grandkids. Miss Tweety, Lady Sherry, I love you guys so much. And everyone else, thanks so much for listening. Now, I'm sure we've all heard the unfortunate news that Sarah from The Chosen One, Mr. Tommy Reed's channel, unfortunately passed away on the 6th of December. I'd like to give my utmost sincerest condolences to Mama Kelly and the rest of the family. And I'd just like to say I'm so shocked because two weeks ago when Sarah was released from hospital, we were all so hopeful and happy because we knew that Mama Kelly was looking after her. And, you know, she went out, she got a beautiful sectional, made a bed up for Sarah. And I was so relieved, I thought, thank fuck. The girl's out of hospital now, her mother's looking after her. Hopefully, she'll get stronger and her health will um, come back. So it's been a great shock. Um, the worst thing about this to me, you guys, is this is now going to be the second child that Mama Kelly is having to bury. Because unfortunately enough, she lost her son at the age of 16. Unfortunately, he passed away in a car accident <coughs> and then now she's having to bury Sarah. So I'm just begging you guys to give the lady support, you know, love and reassurance. She needs that right now, going through a terrible time. And to all you trolls out there, just lay off this woman's fucking back. This is not the time to go on that lady's page and give her abuse and start laying the blame down and basically slamming down on her. Because if you've got kids yourself, you must realise that, you know, to bury one child is bad enough. Again, this is the second. Kelly, if you're out there, there's one thing I'm asking of you. I'm absolutely fucking begging you in the name of God to please, please, please keep your beautiful granddaughter away from that area of Detroit. Because you know as well as what we do, there's nothing positive out there. All there is out there is drugs, outside prostitution, crime, carnage, and as we can see now, devastation. There's not one person that I can think of who would want Sarah's daughter to follow in her footsteps and continue this cycle of drugs. So I'm begging you, please keep that kid away from all this. We all wish Sarah's daughter... A, a good life, a good education, where she's clean and sober. We hear she's very intelligent and we've got so much high hopes for you. And Sarah's daughter, if you're out there, we love you. We're so sorry about this, but we know you're a bright, intelligent girl and you can go on to have a good life. And Kelly, I know you're going through absolute fucking hell. My heart goes out to you, but I'm begging you to find some strength inside you and please use this as a tool to eventually become sober and get your life on track. Because again, a lot of us who are full grown adults take no pleasure of seeing you addicted and living in a bando. Thanks for listening, you guys. Take care.